We'll begin by imagining a vast two-dimensional surface in contact with a three-dimensional fluid. Somewhere on this surface, there exists a spot called an adsorption site. This is a unique site where an atom or molecule can form a chemical bond. If we depict a gas molecule in the fluid region, we can see that the molecule can and will eventually react with the adsorption site to form an adsorbed species, that is, a molecule chemically bonded to the adsorption site. We depict this the same way we would any chemical reaction, with the reactants on one side, a two-sided arrow to represent that the reaction is reversible, and the product on the other side, in this case the occupied site. Remember, this is a bond formation process, so it will produce some heat, although very little. In contrast, desorption will absorb a small amount of heat. But a real surface doesn't just have one adsorption site. In fact, real surfaces are covered randomly with a very high density of adsorption sites, some right next to each other, and some spaced apart. And because a real fluid is composed of a large number of molecules constantly colliding into each other at random angles and speeds, which increase with temperature, we can see that the process of adsorption and desorption are occurring continuously and very rapidly in time, so much so that when the system reaches equilibrium, the adsorption and desorption rates are exactly balanced out with each other.